the message is there's only one door and only one way to the Father. There are not many doors that lead to heaven and not many paths that lead to God. There's only one door and only one way to the Father. And that door, that way, is only Jesus Christ. The Bible makes it very clear that there's only one way to be saved. And that is true faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, it's able to save to the uttermost completely, completely, and perfectly and finally, for all time and eternity. To those who come to God through Him, He's always living to make petitions to God and intercede with Him and intervene for them. In Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. When the crowd was lifted up, the shadow of a shadow, Peter and James and John, on the mount of transgression, out of which God the Father has spoken the words. This is my beloved son, hear him. The son only Jesus, no longer in their view were Moses and Elijah, and so in all matters of resurrection, we see only Jesus. Not Jesus and many of the saints, prophets, apostles, or anyone else, living or dead, only Jesus. The Lord Jesus is the only way, the only truth and the only life. No one can approach the Father except through Him. In John chapter 14, verse 6, there is no other way available to the world whereby it can be saved. Concerning this truth, Number one, only Jesus is able to save us. Salvation is found on all else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Jesus made it plainly and clearly regarding the splitting of the way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, you will be saved. And by passion in John chapter 10, verse 9, Jesus did not say he was a door, but he says he was the door that you have to pass through for you to enter into his kingdom. There are no many doors that lead to heaven, and no many paths that lead to God. There's only one door and only one way to God the Father, and that is Jesus Christ. Man's only hope. He is found only in Jesus. Number two, God bless you. Only Jesus is able to keep us safe and keep us safe internally and secure. And he said in John chapter 10, verse 28 to 29, and I will give them eternal life, and they shall not perish, neither shall anyone stand them out of my hand. The Bible could not be more specific that that is only through Jesus Christ that you be saved. It's only through Jesus Christ that you can be saved and saved for an eternity. Eternal means not temporal, it means forever and ever. How do we know this? Because Jesus Christ says the way for any man, any woman to be saved. Number three, only Jesus is able to save us. Tell me not this in Psalm 55 verse 22. Cast your body on the Lord. And this shall sustain you. He never permits the righteous to be shaken. So first, we must get rid of our body so that we can greatly come to him to sustain us. Because our body is the one that hinders us and bring trouble to us and limit us towards God. And that is the God place. We must cast our body on the Lord Jesus Christ. Some is our us that when we do this, the Lord will sustain us. To sustain means to give us support and the name. Number four, only Jesus is able to present us before the Father. And to you is able to keep on from falling and to present us before the glorious Father without any fault and with a great joy. In the book of Jude, Jude 24. So I said to you today, the only time and the only way to go to God is to Christ Jesus, our Lord. There's no other way, my dear friend. If you know the Lord Jesus Christ, 
You understand through him and concern his truth. It may be so the only dog and the only way to the Father. I don't want to go to heaven. I tell you the only way in Jesus Christ to heaven. Without Jesus Christ, there's no going. If it's your desire to spend eternity in heaven, you have to invite Jesus Christ into your life. He said, what I do, we're afraid you have to make a prayer like this in your heart. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the sacrifice you made for me. I thank you for dying to save my sins. And I thank you for giving me eternal life. In your name I pray. And I guarantee you, my dear friend, Jesus Christ will save for eternity. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord.